There are 9 spell tomes in Terraria, and today we will rank them all. Based on how good the weapon is, I will give it a ranking ranging from F to S. So basically, a tier list, but without a tier list. So the tiers are ranging from the worst to the best F, D, C, B, A, S. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so our first book is the Book of Schools. It drops from Skeletron and it shoots really slow homing schools. And the schools deal a solid amount of damage. Sadly, their piercing is really bad. But overall, the weapon is kinda underrated. B tier. Did I mention that we are going in, in the order that the game wants us to get these books? Probably not. But our next book is the Water Bolt. It shoots a pretty slow but faster than the school projectile that can pierce multiple enemies and bounce off walls. And this book, in comparison to other weapons that you can get at this stage, is rarely used. It is good, but there are so many other magic weapons that are just better than it. You get this weapon by going into the dungeon and you have to find a book that looks like this on a shop and then you just mine it and you have the water bolt. Overall, the weapon is good. Beat you. Our next spell tome is the last pre-hard mode one and it is the demon side and it allows you to to shoot a projectile that's really similar to the one that demons attack you with it also drops from demons and the fact that it drops from demons makes it kind of op because technically you can get it before fighting any bosses it deals a solid amount of damage and i remember that this used to be my main weapon to fight the wall of flesh with. It is an A tier. It doesn't deserve the S tier, but still is really good. Crystal Storm. It is made from a few crystal shards, a spell tome and few souls of light. And this weapon is okay. It shoots crystals that can bounce off walls, the projectiles don't pierce enemies and its damage is not the best. Just a balanced weapon. Not bad, not good. C tier. Golden Shower. It shoots a stream of a uh, acre, definitely, that looks kind of like the Aqua Scepter one. And it can pierce through multiple enemies and gives them the acre debuff. And the acre debuff is really, is really good. It lowers the enemy's defense. And this spell tome is crafted from a few souls of night, some acre, and a spell tome. Near a crystal ball like the last one. Yeah, this weapon is a B tier. The last two weapons along with this one form a trio because it is possible to get these three weapons at the same stage of the game. And Cursed Flames, because that's this weapon name, is the worst out of the trio. It shoots bows that give the enemies the Cursed Infernal debuff. So it's like kinda, it's kinda like the Flower of Fire and Flower of Frost but with cursed balls. You craft it with a few cursed flames, few souls of night and a spell tome near a crystal ball. The same as with the last two weapons. You get my point with the trio. The DPS of this weapon is not really good. It, it pierces only through one enemy. It's worse than the golden shower and I think worse than the crystal storm but it's not d tier it's c tier the next spell tome is the magnet sphere and it allows you to shoot one ball that attacks the enemies on its own and the ball moves really slowly you can use different weapons while the ball is on you have to remember to reactivate it once in a while because it automatically disappears after some seconds the ball shoots projectiles that deal a solid amount of damage. It's dropped by the rusty blue and hell armored bones. So you get it from the dungeon after Lantera. And honestly, this weapon on its own is mid. But as a support weapon, it's really good. This weapon is an A tier. Razor Blade Typhoon. You've been waiting for this weapon. I know it. This is the best magic weapon pre Moonlord. That's all that I want to say. But 
I should say something more, because some of you may be new to this game and don't know how this weapon works. So basically, it shoots up to two of those typhoons. At first, it might seem kinda cool, but not really OP. Now I'm gonna summon King Slime and just look. Yeah, they are homing. <laughs> they are homing projectiles. It totally destroys every invasion, every boss, everything. It's better than even the pillar weapons. This weapon drops from Duke Fission, by the way. And this weapon is S tier. And last but not least, Lunar Flare. Lunar Flare drops from Moon Lord, so you won't use it at all, pretty much. And it's like a magic version of Deadless Stormbow that is post. Because that's basically what it is. It shoots those projectiles, lunar thingies from the sky. They can even pass through walls, and that's basically it. For a moon load drop, it is one of the worst ones. But this weapon is obviously OP. It's disappointing, but OP. B tier. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Check out my other stuff because it's really good. Make sure to subscribe if you liked it and bye. See you in the next one.